censored anime and manga is something we see a lot of and it sucks. Most of us just want the option to enjoy our entertainment censorship free the way the creators wanted us to. And I get that some series might be a little bit too intense for some people, but they could just go and watch another series entirely. Unfortunately though, there are just too many people out there that want to ruin people's enjoyment and who just can't accept the fact that other people are enjoying things they are not, and that is exactly what is going on with Redo of Healer. This new anime was put on to high dive, and it def definitely, definitely does have some pretty heavy content like abuse, and this character's experienced nothing positive in life. Just to put it lightly, I'm going to read a little bit more into detail here, but it's pretty intense from what I've seen in the first couple of episodes, but the simulcast has now been cancelled in Germany, and the print version has been refused by English publishers, according to the creator, all because of outrage by Twitter Puritans and Redditors with brains the size of peas. So the first article I'm going to be referencing, Redo of Healer author reveals series refused by English publishers. This is such a sad thing to see a creator putting their time and energy and emotion into a project and it just getting squashed right out of the gate. It's so disheartening to see this happen time and time again. So Rui Sakio, I hope that I'm saying their name right, uh, author of the Redo of Healer series has revealed that an English version of his title does not exist due to his work being refused by overseas publishers. So featuring a dark and mature twist on the typical genre of storytelling, a Redo of Healer follows Kiaru, a young man who after suffering through years of abuse at the hands of his enemies and supposed allies uses his abilities as the kingdom's healing hero to travel four years back in time. And upon arriving in the past, he embarks on a personal journey to enact revenge on those who took advantage of him, particularly the sadistic magic hero Flair. So however, like the rising of the shield hero, Redo of the Healer has come under fire from Western critics for its use of sexual assault as a prominent plot device as he is both brutally tortured by his captors and of course he's kind of brainwashed uh, by this character in pursuit of his revenge. So the creator of this anime, Redo of Healer, had actually put out this tweet on January 23rd saying, for overseas, I've received several inquiries about buying the English version of Redo of Healer, but it doesn't exist. We tried to publish the English version, but it was refused by an overseas publisher. The situation may change if many requests reach overseas labels. Basically, if there's enough positivity around this series, if there is enough attention around it that is positive and definitely not negative, there might be someone out there who would consider picking it up. It says though the creator did not specify which version he was referring to, it is assumed that both the light novel and manga versions of the series have been subject to rejection. This is so disheartening to hear all because of outrage like we're going to read. There are people who want this buried, just like some Something like Rising of the Shield Hero. There are so many people who just attack series that they don't like simply because they don't like it. They're not considering, oh, hey, maybe someone else would enjoy this. Maybe someone else would like this. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean it should be banned or censored. No, no. There are too many people out there who think that way, who think if I can't enjoy it, nobody can. It says, thankfully, Redo of Healers recently produced anime adaption has been licensed in English speaking territories by Sentai Filmworks, who plan to release the series in both digital and home video formats. A uh, redo of Healer's rejection was also covered by Clownfish TV, who asserted that redo of Healer is getting a lot of buzz, good and bad. So that's the end of the first article that I wanted to read, but there is actually quite a bit more to the situation because now the redo of Healer simulcast has been cancelled in Germany, and this was only announced two days ago at the point of making this video. 
The new adaption of the light novel series Redo of Healer has certainly been making waves in the wider anime community. As the series premiered on January 13th on Tokyo MX, KBS Kyoto, ATX, Sun TV, and BS11, and has been met with mixed reception and controversy. Some felt that the anime was tame by comparison to what they've seen, while others simply wondered, what the hell did I just watch? But the publishing studio Annie Moon is one company to find that out. Annie Moon announced on their Facebook last Tuesday that they were completely unable to find a simulcast partner for this series after a potential company pulled out of the agreement. It says Annie Moon purchased the right to simulcast, create, and distribute a German dub to be sold in Germany and Central Europe, but this announcement came after a statement by Annie Moon on January 14th, saying that the simulcast for this series has been delayed. They will release the uncensored and uncut version of it on DVD and Blu-ray this fall, and the box release uh, will feature the German dub done in-house at Annie Moon. So at least there is going to be some form of a German dub. I know that someone, you know, as a fan could have tried to dub it. We do see a lot of fan dubs out there, and I do think that that is great. But it is so unfortunate that all because of a little bit of outrage now we're seeing it start to be canceled this is just one region it is just in germany but wait until this outrage continues to grow and grow this could potentially be a situation like interspecies reviewers where it completely uh tries to get scrubbed from all of these sites you know we saw with funimation they completely scrubbed uh interspecies reviewers from their streaming service they tried to you know sweep it under the rug and act like it never existed and it didn't work because too many people wanted to watch it and wanted to see it and i have a very bad feeling that, that is going to happen with this now i really hope that it's not just because it is currently on high dive and high dive does have a pretty good reputation um, but I never want to say never at this point because unfortunately bad situations like this happen so often. Now listen, this series is definitely pretty out there with its content. I personally have watched the couple of episodes that are up on High Dive, and while it's not completely my cup of tea, I would never demand that it be censored or removed or banned or anything like that. But this right here is a post on r slash character rant, it's got 40,000 members. And I wanted to read to you all this post because this is the type of the type of attitude that companies are listening to right now going, wow, a lot of people really don't like this. We read this very detailed post. Maybe we shouldn't have it on our platform. So this currently has 516 upvotes, which is quite a lot, but it says redo of healer is the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And this post isn't short. I am not going to read all of this, and I think that it's hilarious looking at, um, looking at some of the comments. A lot of people are like, seriously, did you need to rant this much? But I do want to read a couple of sections of it, and then I have one more post to go over. So it says, if you're even a casual fan of seasonal anime, you've probably heard of this season's Redo of Healer, a show about a generic fantasy world healer who travels back in time to take revenge on his party for mistreating and abusing him. I have watched docu-series on what the most sadistic evil serial killers have done to their victims, and some of those even look tame in comparison to this disgrace to society. They go on to talk about the plot a little bit, which I've already summed up. It's this dull, uninspired world where nothing is ever explained and any interesting ideas the show could have had are quickly forgotten as the show moves on to the next undercooked idea. The character design is lazy and they feel all like rejects from a deviant art page. On top of that, almost every element of this anime, from the animation to the soundtrack, is forgettable and uninspired. They go on to point out how many torture scenes there are and how many rape scenes there are, they go on to clearly say that they really don't like that content, and they 
just continue to go on and on about how they don't like that content and how they think it's disgusting and awful and anyone they say anyone defending this shit is in serious need of mental counseling oh my gosh if you don't defend censorship you must have a mental problem when it comes to things like chainsaw massacre and the saw movies those are extremely grotesque movies and even though i really don't like them i wouldn't call for them to be canceled or banned i wouldn't say if you watch this entertainment you're a disgusting human being and you have problems there's usually a little bit of pushback against those movies but there's never this giant outrage about them to get them canceled and get them banned yet there's one anime that's going on a streaming service and there's this giant outrage campaign against it over an adult cartoon with fictional characters in a fictional world doing fictional things and a lot of what you would see in something like redo redo specifically i should say you don't even really see a lot of it is just black screens or grayed out there's not a lot of super intense detail for a lot of the scenes but i just I just don't understand this mentality. Cancel one thing, but let's not mention the other because the other's perfectly fine. How do these people decide what's wrong in their pea-sized brains and what is okay, what is acceptable? It is disgusting that people are saying this should be canceled, it's awful, it's terrible. It's fine that you don't like it, but don't call for it to be banned because you don't like it. And I wanted to show one final post that I found online, which the author of it has deleted it everyone in the comments was kind of roasting him saying seriously dude get a life all they said was i hope the redo of healer gets canceled and burns in hell a little bit harsh in my opinion for a series that you simply didn't like and of course a lot of people are like relax dude Someone even went on to say it's like anime watchers have never heard of hentai and someone said people like you that always make controversial entertainment popular, every time someone tries to ban a show the only thing they will manage to do is getting what they hate more popular. If you really hate the show just ignore it, you fell for the trap and, and it is kind of true. When you talk about something negatively, you, you've got the people who are going to clearly defend it because you're calling for something like censorship which is wrong and bad and um it's going to blow up the situation more you know it is just so sad to see this creator fight so hard for his creations to just be in the world for people to enjoy and it's fine if you don't like it but don't call for it to be removed and you know censored and completely scrubbed from the internet because that is what is not okay but that's, uh, that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Have you started Redo of Healer or did you decide to uh, pass on it? If you enjoyed this video and found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.